Hi everyone. I hope this tutorial works well for everyone. First off, there are other ways to do video capture. I just think that this is probably one of the better ways to do it across multiple OS platforms. For instance, if you have Windows 10, there should be a built-in way to do video capture. Also, if you have the Xbox app for Windows 10, you can use it to do video capture as well. Evan has used this method in the past and it's worked really good for him. Okay, back to this particular application I decided on, which is OBS, stands for Open Broadcaster Software. Here's the page you go to to download the software at obsproject.com. For my computer at home, I have a Windows 7 computer and selected the Windows version to download. Whenever I download files from the internet, I always wait for my Norton antivirus software to confirm that the files are safe to use. As you can see in the lower right hand corner, it says that it's OK. In the lower left corner is the installer for OBS. Click it and launch the installer. Next, the installer should step you through the basic setup for OBS. The first screen is asking for auto configuration of OBS and I chose yes. The next screen asks about streaming versus just recording. For our needs in use, I selected the just recording option. The initial video settings screen here, I chose FPS to be 30. FPS stands for frames per second. For our needs, 30 frames per second is perfect because the video the videos that are up on YouTube were recorded at 30 frames per second. The last install setup screen shows you your final result. Click the apply settings button and continue. One other thing I did notice and needed to be changed later was the base canvas resolution. I'll show you later on what we need to do to change this. Now with OBS running, you're on the main screen and as you look it over you see a big blank screen in the middle of several sections below. The middle screen is where you'll see the YouTube video be recorded to. We'll work on resizing the video to capture and fit it into this particular window. Of the sections below, two main ones we will work with are sources and controls. From the controls on the lower right, there is the settings button. Click that to change the settings we need. From the settings window, two main sections will be updated on the left are output and video. Click on the output first. Two items to change on the output settings are the record path and the recording format. The record path, you know, it's a personal preference of mine. I like to keep my work isolated. The current path shows the general video folder that is used for where everything goes. What I did is I created a working folder within that general video folder and I called it video capture and used it to re you know used it as the recording path as you can see now. The recording format I changed from FLV to MP4. MP4 is a better video format used for you know for our use and our needs. It is a good standard format for video processing needed to create the soccer highlights. Now click on the video tab from the left column of settings. Here I realized when I was kind of playing around with the stuff that base canvas resolution needed to be at 1280 by 720. The reason for this was that the video was shot in those dimensions. So when we go to resize the window, the video capture will actually work better to fit in that main screen that we saw on the main page. So now at this point, what I really want you to notice is the background window. It is a full frame Chrome window that has the YouTube video in the background. So to visualize this, what we're going to try to do is take that frame that you see there highlighted and we're going to slowly try to get it transformed so it fits inside of the window that we have for the OBS window. So as you visualize it, what we're really trying to do is just take that much of it and make it fit inside of this little window. So instead of the entire Chrome window, we just want that much of the video. 
So that's what we're going to do next. The most important thing to notice is that the YouTube window is right behind the OBS window. It makes it simpler to resize it into this main window of OBS. So now in the OBS window you see the sources. Click on the plus and then it will give you a drop down menu. From the drop down menu click on the window capture. Window capture will give you a pop up and it's going to say window capture. Say OK. From there now you're going to see the YouTube window being framed in there, the full size of that Chrome window. Click OK. From here, here's where we're going to start to do the resize. You're going to see a little dot there. We're going to drag it in and you're going to see the size of the main window get a little bit smaller. Now we're just going to click on the frame itself and drag it up so the corner kind of meets. So here's a quick little video to just kind of show you how I did it. You see how I drag it in there? It gets smaller. I pull it back out, it gets bigger. Now we're going to drag the main part of the window just so the corner really meets up with the corner of the frame. Then we're going to go over to the other side with the other little dot and drag that out to make it a little bit bigger. So now you see as we go back and forth we'll move it again and we'll drag it out again just so that entire piece just starts to fit into that one frame by itself. So going back and forth I move it drag it over and then I finally just kind of get it so it fits just right. Now for this next step you're going to see how we're going to actually capture the video. We're going to start recording but before we do that let's go to the YouTube window in the background and actually hit play. Now from there you saw the YouTube video come up to the front so now we have to bring our OBS window back up to the front and then we click on the recording button to start recording. So now you see the frame is actually playing or the, the video is actually playing within our frame which is what we want. Then we're going to get to the point where we see you know our good friend Jared there score a goal and then I say okay that's pretty good and I decided to click on the stop recording. So now that I stop recording I'm not going to exit. I don't want to exit. I want to leave this whole window up but we can go ahead and go back to the YouTube frame and actually click stop. So from there, now we see it, we have everything in the frame, and now we're going to move on to the next step, which is looking at the video. So when you go up to file and you go to show recordings, there's the recording, I double click on it, and this is what we actually captured. Everything worked really well at, at this level. It recorded it in a nice 30 frames per second and gave us exactly what we wanted. And with that everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial. Uh, I hope it give, gave you enough stuff to kind of work from and to hopefully pull the videos down and make good stuff. Thanks. Bye.